These are zinc strips that I used to displace copper in the brass copper zinc and acid series part 4. And this is sulfuric acid that I purified from drain cleaner in the sulfuric acid project video. I am 3 no 3. Thank you for watching. Warning. Sulfuric acid is highly corrosive. So I started out with about 50 milliliters of this purified sulfuric acid. And right away you can see there was a good reaction. Since I purified this myself, I'm not sure exactly what the concentration is, but I have a feeling it's about 95, 96%. And the initial reaction was really good, but it started to slow down really quickly. You can see something is still happening, but it's not as vigorous as it was when it started. Here's a view from the side, and you can see some bubbles forming, something's still happening, but not that much. So I added a few little tiny pieces of zinc to see if anything would happen with them. You can see the silver pieces around it. So next I added 100 milliliters of distilled water and moved it to the super scientific hot plate. I didn't even need to turn on the heat. The reaction started vigorously and almost immediately. So the zinc reacts better in a more dilute sulfuric acid solution as opposed to the more concentrated. The solution started to turn a green color also indicating that some copper had dissolved into the solution. So in order to displace the copper, I wanted to add some more zinc. These two smaller thin pieces probably weigh less than a half a gram a piece. So if you watched the hydrochloric acid copper substance test, you may remember that I took a piece of the same zinc material and dissolved it in hydrochloric acid and was left with a copper residue. What happened was the zinc displaced the copper and for some reason the outside passivated and the copper was still displaced on the inside of the zinc. That's why there was copper residue left behind when the zinc dissolved. Sulfuric acid reacts with copper a lot the same way hydrochloric does. It will not dissolve pure copper metal. However, it will dissolve copper oxides. So. The oxidized copper is what dissolved into this and made the solution turn green. Since the two smaller pieces have already dissolved and the solution is still green, I'm going to add this piece that weighs about 5 grams to the solution to try to displace all the copper. Because what I'm after here is zinc sulfate. From what I understand, zinc sulfate is the best electrolyte to use for zinc electrochemistry. The only electrolyte that I've used so far with zinc is zinc acetate. The acetate solution did work, but the quality of the product wasn't all that great. So here you can see the solution is starting to get clear. So I am going to let this finish reacting and then store it. So this is after letting it sit for about 36 hours. Everything that was solid in the solution has settled to the bottom and it doesn't look like there's any more reaction happening in there. The clear liquid should be the aqueous zinc sulfate solution that we were looking for. So we're going to decant off the liquid. And here is the solid substance that was left over. I think that's copper, but don't ask me why it's black because I don't know. So here I'm just rinsing it really good, and we'll use this in a later video. And I'm going to store this in a glass jar where it'll be nice and safe. The plastic bag here will help keep the lid from corroding. And I'll label it as poison so nobody messes with my electrolyte. The end.